back to our channel that is AI next generation in the previous video we already have been seen about the introduction of the OOPS great making a object and class in the OOPS and what is the use of self keyword in the OOPS and also the constructor that is a special function that is a double underscore in it double underscore we have just covered this all the topic in the previous video so this particular video we are going to take the two most important things that is a variable types of variable in the oops so before going to the types of variable in the oops we in the next video also we are going to see types of methods in the oops so first this video we are only seeing the types of variable in the oops okay so there are two types of variable in the oops the one you are called as an instance variable and the another they are called as a class or static variable okay the one is called an instance variable so instance variable is those variable which keep on changing i will just give you the example so out of this which one is called an instance variable so this particular self dot a name self dot id and self dot pay they will call in as an instance variable you can just write here instance variable because well, whenever you are just creating the class, whenever you are just creating the class, you are just defining init method. And then after whenever you are creating the object of that, because the parameter you are just passing, that is a name, ID and pay. They are the var uh, variable you are just passing. So they are called, why they are called self.name equal to name. You are just giving the reference to that particular object. So that employee one give the reference, how the employee one will store their value. That is a PUs one, two, three and their pay. Okay, with the help of instance variable means that particular variable which keep on changing which which will be different for every object because the name ID and the pay will be different for the one object you are just creating of the employee one and for the employee two you are just creating the name ID and pay that will be the different. Okay, so the instance variable are those variable which are keeps on changing. They are not a fix. They depends upon the object what you are just making the object in that object what the parameter you are just passing clear so this was called as about, about the instance variable now again if you want to see in employee one what has been stored what's the views and one two three and fifty thousand what is that and where it has been stored you can just see this thing with the with the help of namespace so namespace is special special kind of things which is stored in the dictionary form so first of all the parameter you're just passing that is name and then after you're passing as a views id as a one two three and pay as a fifty thousand for the employee one that is for the object one so in the namespace where you can just able to see where the in the namespace you are just storing this all thing okay so how you are just seeing this one you are just printing employee one dot underscore dictionary okay so now you are able to see okay so what the in employee one you are storing the name that that is the name is a key that is a parameter you're just passing and for that parameter you're just passing as a pews as a value okay so whenever you're just creating the object that object has been saved somewhere they, that object will be saved somewhere that is called as a namespace namespace where you are storing the all the variable instance variable or class variable clear and again if you are just writing print and you are just going for the employee two, okay clear so again you are just writing the dictionary for that and you are able to see it will store now it is storing the name as a ram and id as 10 and pay as 80000 so now you are able to see how how this particular it is building now you are able to see in the namespace they are called basically the namespace we are just you are just holding the name id and pay they are the parameter means you are just holding the variable for this particular object clear so this was about the instance variable because instance variable are those variable which give the reference to that particular object at particular if you are just working on one for the first object that is employee one that at that particular instance you are just giving to the employee one so that you can just do with the help of self clear that already have explained you in the previous video about the self but here the variable that is the that particular variable which which are attached to the self you can just say self dot name equal to name means that particular variable will keep on changing it will be different for the different object okay they are called as instance variable clear and again if you are going to the my blog that is ai new generation.com so again you can just go to the python and you can just find this all kind of blocks there so in that also I have explained you about the class and static variable. So class and static namespace where you are storing storing all the class variable in the namespace or instance namespace means all the all the variable or instance in particular namespace. Clear? 
I don't think so you will have doubt in this so you are just clear with the instance variable now we are just jumping to the class variable they are also called as an static variable so class variable and static variable are those variable which are constant for every object either you are just creating the employee one okay or employee two whenever you are just calling that particular variable that variable will same for every object because instance variable will different because the name id and pay will different for different object but that class variable you are just creating that will be the same for every object when you once you change that class variable that will affect to every employee clear how you where you have to create the class variable you have to clear the class variable below the whenever you are just creating the class after that you can just give the variable name for that clear so because you can't create this all thing in the init method because this is a constructor that constructor represent for that particular object clear so i don't think so you have doubt in this particular so, so first of all what you are just doing you are just writing self and then after you are uh, sorry not a self you are just passing one keyword so one keyword you are, you can just say after every one year or after two years your increasement your id your particular id or your, your particular pay is increasing after every year you every year now you are just counting for the month because you are seeing the 50000 that particular pius is getting for per month and also the ram is getting 80000 per month so after one year how much increasement will be there for the pay if you are just saying increment pay as a 1.05 I, I, or 1.08 you can just say so this much of percent will be increased after every year okay if you are just saying after one year completion you then increase when per month they have increased 1.08 of the salary okay so you have to create one special method for that okay you are just creating one method here and then after here you are just creating increment payment for that clear and here you are just passing the self keyword so what you want to return after one year you are just seeing how much increasement of the pay for that particular employee will be you are just taking you want to return that particular self dot first of all you will pay and then after you are going to multiply in it pay but how you are just giving the reference to this because you can't write in it pay but it will give you in it pay will be not defined in this particular constructor clear so to define this particular you have to either give to with the help of self dot keyword or employee dot in pay if you are just writing if you are just writing this one and if you are not giving the reference that is self dot in it pay okay so it whenever you are going to run it will just display you the error whenever you are just calling this particular method that is a employee one from employee one you are just calling which method in need increasement in the pay clear but uh, i think you have just given the same name you have to just change the name you can just say employee pay increment uh, increasement uh, I and I am just giving and you can just write here you can just write but you don't have to write the same name that is the method or the any variable clear so if you are just calling this particular method okay from this particular employee object so what you you will get an error because it will just give you that that init page not defined you have to give to reference how you are just defining you can just define with the help of self keyword okay so if you are just defining this with, with this self keyword so it may be for you it will maybe doubt that self is reference to that particular instance variable but whenever you are just creating whenever you are just calling init pay for that variable for that particular object when employee one that increment pay will be only done for the employee one not for everyone because increment pay is constant for every employee because for a employee one the increment pay is constant for employee two is also the increment pay is constant clear but what you are just doing here you are just increasing the pay after one year suppose so for whenever you, you are just calling for the particular employee one increment pay now you will able to see you their in increment pay is 54000 it was 50000 before now this particular they are just employee one is getting as 54000 i am just writing increment okay, for uh, in in, in increment for employee one okay for employee one and you are just writing this one and then let's let's do okay and second again again you are just writing for the increment for the employee two okay increment for employee two clear so again you are just writing the same and you are just calling in from employee two object you are just call calling this method that is an increment pay clear now you will able to see for the particular a at fifty four thousand went for the pews that is for the first object, and eighty and that is a eighty six thousand gone for this particular eighty six thousand four hundred for the object two that is a 
drum clear so you have the increment for both you have the constant value that is a 1.080 clear so for even if you want to change the value if i will you you want to change the value from employee one how you are going to access this particular in in it in it pay okay so how you are going to access okay so if i am just writing for employee one in it pay so you are getting 1.08 this is the 1.08 uh, let's comment for now okay so if you are just getting the employee one the need pay that is a 1.08 but still you can just edit if for the employee pay is like he is working too much hard and his increment pay is 1.01 .01. okay let's take okay now increment pay for the employee one is 1.01 .01. clear now if you are going for the employee two employee two dot any pay okay so what will be the answer okay 1.08 now you are able to see because you are only changing for the employee one increment pay you are not changing the employee two for the need pay for in for employee two that is for the ram or uh, object two that will be the constant that is a 1.08 unless you are going by default and you are just calling that space uh, that is a class variable and then after you are just changing for that okay so here you are just changing 1.01 for that particular views means he is hard working guy so his increment pay is 1.10 as compared to the ram clear but for the uh, for the employee too it will be the constant that is 1.08 for the n number of employee the even you will create employee 3 that will be the constant clear so i don't think so you have doubt in this this thing this thing that is a you are just creating the class and this is called as a class variable or, or you can also call a static variable clear or static variable i think you hope so i hope so you are clear with this because this particular variable will be same for every object unless you are going to change that for that particular object it should be different okay so this was about this particular what is class variable what is instance variable or what is static variable so i hope so this was clear to you in the next video we are going to see about the different type of methods in the ops okay so that's all for this video thank you